Hello and welcome back to my second installment of the Steam Deck MX Bikes experience. Um, in my last video, like in a, in a video I uploaded a couple minutes ago, I've shown how MX Bikes works on uh, on the Steam Deck and how to set up the escape key, uh, which was missing uh, and not working in the game. And now I'm showing you how to do the uh, cool stuff, which is um, installing mods. And like getting mods into the game, uh, that's a little bit funky if you're a very unexperienced PC user or generally never much cared for PC stuff. That might be a little bit complicated, but I try to uh, explain or like to show it as good as possible. Um, I'm gonna zoom the camera in so you don't see my filthy hands. Um, yeah, uh, be right back. Okay, so here we are, a little bit closer to the to the Steam Deck. Um, the first thing you have to do, or you want to do, is uh, to access your desktop, uh, which you can do by pressing the power button, which is located up here, for I think like three seconds or something. Yeah, and here you see to desktop, probably in English. So just press it, and once. It's restarted or once it has loaded the desktop, you're gonna see something like that. You probably have like two windows open, which I have had as well. Um, you see in the taskbar, uh, there's a Firefox logo, which is pretty interesting that Steam decided to install Firefox as default. Um, you probably get one issue. If you haven't restarted your Steam Deck yet, please do so because if you didn't, um, your Wi-Fi won't work properly. And in order to access Firefox, it will open up the, what is it, Discovery? Like it's the App Store for the, for the Steam Deck, it's like the Linux App Store. And you have to install Firefox again, like it's gonna do kind of an update, thing like that. And uh, yeah, so once that's done, you open up Firefox, like, like you would on PC. And I have it already open, opened. And you want to head to MXB Mods, the worst website on the planet, <laughs> as you might know. And uh, oh, that's pretty. Uh, let me try to fix that. Mm -hmm. No, that's not better. How about some white balance? Because I can't see stuff. I'm gonna fix that real quick. Okay, we are back. Excuse me, it's just my second time recording something off screen. Um, so yeah, probably the zoom changed a bit and the positioning. So please don't, uh, please don't be too harsh with me. Um, yeah, where I stopped, um, you're gonna press into the, or like you can move your cursor and you wanna go into your search bar. As you can see, no keyboard is going to pop up. What you have to do is press the Steam button and and X. And then your uh, soft keyboard is gonna pop up. And here you want to go to MXB, or like you can just Google MXB mods. It's a little bit, um, it has a little bit of a delay, like sometimes just a second press really uh, works. Uh, so yeah, that's something to get used to. And to close the keyboard, you want to hide it again. And here we go into MXB mods, so you can already see MX OEM pack. We're gonna click on that. Yeah, there we go. And here we can scroll down, and just like you would do on PC, uh, ignore everything I've written down here. Just click on downloads and download the version you want, like full installation, no paints or whatever. Uh, yeah, once you've done that, you'll have it in your. Uh, like in your downloads uh, folder, and I have it already downloaded, so I'm gonna go into uh, downloads. Oh, actually, that's not that. I'm gonna go into the explorer, into downloads, and here I've got like that's a failed version. I'm gonna remove that. Oops, that's yeah, a little bit tricky. No, our shive loaded. Once again, move to trash. Okay, and here you see the downloaded uh, MX OEM zip. The focus is not very good right now. Uh, can we just like 
manual focus hello okay we have manual focus now um let me adjust Okay, we are once again back. Uh, sorry for that again. Um, so yeah, we've downloaded the full version of the OEMs 0 0.70.2. Uh, you have it opened in like in your Explorer and you're just gonna double tap it to open it. Uh, move it a bit to the side. Gonna close that window, gonna close that window. And now it's, it's literally just like on Windows. Like all you gonna do is uh, have that zip opened and we want to open a new um, Explorer window, which is here called Dolphin. Come on. And you probably want to go into your home. Was it home? I think. And then you go into deck. And here you see some folders which have a dot in front of it. Uh, those folders are hidden. You have to uh, check show hidden folders as you can see now we just have like eight folders and if we enable it show hidden files you see uh seven more and we have to go into local share um here we need to find steam there we have um steam apps like that's pretty much like uh like on pc where you want to go into your MX Bikes installation folder. And we have to go into Compat Data, which is pretty much equivalent to your documents, but it's your documents per uh, game, pretty much. So we go into Compat Data, and here you see two IDs. That one is Forza because I've downloaded that, and that's the ID of MX Bikes. It's 6, 555, and 2 O's. So open that. And here you have PFX and some weird files. Just open PFX. Here you have Drive C, which is pretty much the equivalent to your C drive on your PC. Go into Drive C, and you can see program files, program files x86, some weird stuff. And here you also have users. And I just see that my. Yeah, it's lagged. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm very sorry, it just. It, it doesn't work in the second video. Uh, anyways, uh, I've talked and you had a pretty, I think, uh, delayed video playback. Uh, anyways, here you see the program files folder and there you also see the users folder. And we want to go into users, Steam user, because that's like our documents and, yeah, our <laughs> documents folder. And here you also have, I think it's documents, yeah. And you have Pebozo, MX bikes, mods, and that's your mods folder. And all you're gonna do now is exactly like on PC, you just take, or like you open one of, uh, like the install first. How did I open it once again? Ah, it's like double tap and you have mods. Or you can also just back up one folder and click, hold, and drag the folder into your Piboso MX Packs folder. Uh, since I've got everything installed, it will ask me to override stuff. Just apply it to all and override. And for you, it will probably just like straight up copy everything. And yeah, <laughs> that's like it's exactly exactly like on PC. You also also have your global.ini files where you can do some adjustments to your uh, settings or to your controls. And if you want to install GeoPanos Dunlops, we can also do so by doing. Uh, like opening that and once again drag and drop the mods folder into your Pibosa folder Here it will also ask you to override um, because uh, It's always shipped with the PMX PKZ and that's it You've installed mods on a Steam Deck on a Linux OS and it will work <laughs> I quickly just jump into the Steam overlay once again and uh, see you in a second Ah, I forgot to mention, to go back into Steam, you have to double tap the return to gaming mode button, uh, like app, because that's what I had to Google because I couldn't find the key com combination to <laughs> get back to Steam. So uh, yeah, it will take some seconds. And there we go. The Steam library, like the Steam, what was it? I don't know what's called, what's called. Uh, it's gonna boot up again and you can launch a mix bikes play 
it's gonna load. And here you can see my menu with the gas gas equipped and you can go into bikes. Um, go around here because I figured that if I don't use the touchpad, uh, like by pressing steam and the touchpad, if I try to move it with my finger, yeah, it does pretty weird stuff. So <laughs> if you want to like view your guy in the selection, you have to use the steam overlay, um, yeah, like cursor, uh, s work around pretty much. And as you can see, I have my category. Uh, yeah, it's, it's still a bit funky to get used to. Um, yeah, I can also select my MX2s. I can change my bike. I could even install paints and stuff, like the same way I showed you with the bike. You can do the same uh, here on the Steam Deck. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that's about it. That's how you mod uh, MX bikes on the Steam Deck. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope to catch you soon in the next desktop video or maybe I'll find some other cool stuff uh, for the Steam Deck and MX Bikes. But uh, yeah, have a good one.